In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do free keyword research so that you can find easy keywords for free without paying for expensive tools. And I'm going to show you some of the quickest and fastest ways to do it across 10 different tools. Now, this was a question that was posted in the SEO boardroom. I was like, why don't I just share it with everyone on YouTube too? So I'm going to create this video for you and share it. So shout out to Dennis for the great question, but we're going to get straight into 10 free ways to find thousands of keywords fast using AI, using SEO, really easy. I'm going to give you the whole SOP. And if you want me to create a tutorial for you, join the SEO boardroom, ask any questions that you have, we'll be happy to help you and we'll get straight into it. So one of the first methods that you can actually use is just type in Google Keyword Planner into Google and then you can get free access to their campaign planner right here. Now from there, what you can actually do is if you click on discover new keywords and then start with a website, you can scrape your top competitors keywords. Now, the reason I recommend this versus just going with a blank list of keywords is that you can understand what other websites in your niche have done as competitors to achieve a great result. So for example, let's say you find a top performing website like this and you're like, right, I'm in the cakes niche. I'm creating recipes all the time. It's, it's much better to start with your competitors versus a huge list of thousands of keywords because that will help you tailor things. That will help you figure out what's working for your competitors and then you can go from there. So what we can do from here is we can plug their URL into the start with a website section, hit get results. And from here, you've got a list of the keywords and the competition. Now the competition score is typically not based on SEO. It's actually based on PPC. So you've got to take it with a pinch of salt, but I'll show you in a second, one way to easily check this that's completely free as well to make sure that you get better data on that. So what I'm going to do is click on get keyword ideas. We'll go to Google Sheets. Then we're going to hit download over here and that should open a Google Sheet with all the keywords on there. This basically just helps you reverse engineer what's working the best, right? Now I'm going to show you a few ways that you can make the most out of this, right? So from here, what you can actually do is you can go through the list and go, right, these are the most relevant ones and just pick out the most relevant keywords to you. Now, what? additionally, you're typically going to find that the longer tail keywords, for example, like simple chocolate cake recipe is going to be much easier to rank for versus something like best cakes, right? Simply because it's longer tail, less people are going to go for it. The more specific it is, the less people can create content for it. The less people can create content, the easier it's going to be to rank for that keyword. So you don't need to create pages around every single one of these. Just focus on the best opportunities. How do you know what the best opportunity is? First of all, you can look at the monthly searches. Secondly, you can figure out, okay, what's the most relevant. And thirdly, you can check how competitive that particular keyword is. But if this column right here, the competition score is based on PPC, not organic, then let me show you a better way to figure out what's actually low competition, and high competition in the SERP results. So what you can actually do is grab a keyword like this, for example, then we can go to Ahrefs Keyword Generator, which is a free keyword generator tool. And you can plug in the specific keyword that you're thinking about creating content around, hit find keywords, wait for that to load. And from there, you can actually get the data on that particular keyword, right? Now, I think you can only do a limited number of searches per day for these particular keywords, but at least, you know, right, that's super hard to go for. It has got a decent volume, but it is hard to go for. I'm probably not going to try and write for that keyword. Let's find another one. Let's scroll through the list and you're like, right, number cake recipe, that seems a bit random. Still got decent search volume. Maybe I can rank for that. So we're going to plug that into the free keyword generator instead. Hit find keywords, see what it pops up with. And you can see again, that is an easy keyword, right? So now you've confirmed that it's relevant to you. It generates traffic. It's easy to rank for. And you did all of this for free in just a couple of minutes, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy cake. And you've also got a bunch of other ideas here as well. So for example, chocolate number cake recipe. That's another keyword idea, right? So between these two methods, you can easily find keywords that are easy to rank for for free in minutes. Now, what I'm actually doing is plugging this into a free SAP so that you can use this step by step. And this is basically a template for getting loads of free keywords that you know are easy to rank for, low competition, and you can go from there. Now, at this point, some people watching will be like, Julian, what on earth are you talking about? You've mentioned that you should be doing topical maps, not keyword research. But what you can actually do is leverage a combination of both because they go hand in hand, right? You want to do the topical maps to map out your website, but at the same time, you want to be able to find easy keywords that you can actually rank for. And when you're going through your topical map, you want to focus on the highest leverage ones first. 
So what we can do from here is we can say based on my competitor, create a topical map. We'll put the niche as cakes. We'll put the language as English based on their keywords below. And I'll give you this prompt in a second. We can take the top 50 or 100 keywords like so, plug them into ChatGPT. You can do this on ChatGPT 3.5, it still works. And then you can sort the keywords into a nice little topical map. Now it's not gonna be perfect, right? So there's gonna be a lot of overlapping search intent right here. So for example, vanilla cake recipe and vanilla cake easy might overlap in search intent. And if that's the case, just get rid of them. You know, feel free to discard what you like and use what you do like. Always helps to have a bit of common sense here. Now, another free way to get a lot of keywords that are easy is you can just check out the sitemap, right? So if you go to sitemap.xml, for example, like recipe sitemap we've got right here, not all your competitors are gonna have a sitemap in this section, but this is usually the easiest and fastest way to do it. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'll grab the URLs from this page. There we go. Paste them into chat GPT. Then I'll say extract just the URLs from this page. And it's gonna give me a list of all the URLs from the page and just sort the, and sort the site map so there's not so messy. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we'll say create a topical map, table format based on the above. Avoid duplicate search intent, extract the keywords from the URLs and organize the table into clusters and images, right? And so for example, in the cluster, in the chocolate cake section right here, you have like easy rich chocolate cake recipe, chocolate ganache. Sounds pretty tasty that, not gonna lie to you. Rich chocolate cake, moist chocolate cake, easy chocolate, blah, 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 blah. And then you've got the categories over here and the pages underneath each category, right? It's all, and it's all neatly organized and laid out. So it's nice and easy to organize. Now, the next method that we're gonna use is completely free as well. And this will just give you a ridiculous number of keywords. So what I'm gonna do is go to answer the public. This is method number five. We're gonna sign in. We'll type in our keyword here. We'll put United States, English, hit search. And you can see that you get a few searches available each day, right? Now, what you're gonna see from here is a list of questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, numbers, and related topics, right? And so basically from here, if you go to tables, for example, we can see 83 different questions people are asking on the internet with search volumes based on chocolate cake related keywords, right? So for example, can, how, what, when, where, which. And you can sort this into a list or you can have a nice little wheel right here and you'll get a nice bunch of ideas right there, right? And so just by typing in your main topic, you get a ridiculous number of keywords and that was incredibly easy. And what you see here is again, the competition score is based on PPC. But again, you can just plug it into the free keyword generator if you want to check if that keyword is easy or not. But from there, you can literally get like thousands of keywords, right? Now, what you can also do is you can just leverage free trials of tools as well, right? So for example, tools like SE Ranking, usually paid, but you can see you can actually get a free trial if you've not used it before on a new account, same with SEMrush. And then you get access to the same data as a paid tool but you get it for free for a free trial. Method number seven, you can actually get a free trial on Mangles. So if we sign in right here, find keywords, we'll take a keyword that we found earlier and then it will give you some more keyword ideas. So for example, like Ferrero Rocher number cake, number nine chocolate cake, etc. Now, what I typically like about these sort of tools, the keyword difficulty is not just based on backlinks, right? So for example, if you check Ahrefs, typically that, keyword difficulty metric is based on how many backlinks is required to rank, right? It's useful, but it's, it's kind of like a one dimensional tool for keyword research. If you look at stuff like Mangles, and again, this is free. I haven't paid for it. It's asking me to upgrade over there, but this is actually based on domain authority. So the power of the whole domain, the power of the pages ranking, the citation flow and the trust flow. Now, Typically, I'm not really too fussed about these metrics. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But if I look at the number of backlinks on page and the number of backlinks across a whole backlink profile of my competitors, then typically that's going to be a more accurate metric, right? And then again, you avoid relying on PPC estimates for organic results because that would be wrong. Now let's check out a few more. So this is one that I've not really tested out before, but I've heard good things about it. So I'm going to install it right now today. And basically be the guinea pig for you. So I'm gonna install keyword surfer. So this is actually owned by Surfer SEO, as you can see. And if we refresh Google right here, you can see that it gives me a bunch of keyword ideas with volumes as well. 
And then if we click on each keyword, it will give us more keywords right here. So we can just keep digging deeper. And then if you want to save a keyword, you can just hit the tick box right here, add that to your collection, and then just build up a list of keywords from there. Pretty useful. Next one I'm going to try, and I've not really tested this out much, again, is WordStream. So there's a free keyword tool they have. And what we could do from here is hit find my keywords. Now, this is more useful for ads, I would say. And then it's going to prepare the results. And we can see... It's kind of like a, a more user-friendly version of Google Keyword Planner, right? So you've got the keyword, the search volume, how much people are bidding for the keyword and whether the competition is low or not. Now, what I would say with this tool is that it's quite easy to see whether people are bidding for that keyword. Why is that useful? It's useful because if people are bidding a decent amount, so for example, some people are bidding like $2.36 on Coca Cake, we know that's a potential buyer intent keyword that could generate money. Now, typically in the recipe niche, that's not going to be very useful. If you were searching for something like, for example, SEO agency, and then you saw people bidding like $54 for that particular keyword, you know that's a keyword you could rank for, potentially generate leads or sales to your agency, or even sell spots as a directory listing on that particular page, and then reach out to the people advertising that topic and say, hey, do you want to be on this page? If so, how much are you going to pay me? right? It's an easy way to monetize the page. And again, this is a free keyword research tool. So we've covered nine different ways to find keywords so far. Google Keyword Planner, Ahrefs, Google Maps, Competitor Sitemaps and ChatGPT, Answer the Web, Free Trials of Premium Tools, Mangles, Keyword Surfer, and WordStream. Let's come on to the final one, which is my custom GPT right here. We can type the niche of our website. So let's put in chocolate cake recipes as an example right here. And then if we type in our niche, for example, like birds right here, you can see it's generated a list of keywords. Now, when you're using this, I wouldn't take the whole question, right? Because if you take that whole question, it's probably not going to have much search volume. And so with a bit of common sense, I would take the keyword from, for example, like best bird feeders. And if you plug that into a premium tool, just to check it for common sense, you don't need access to this, but you can see that it's quite an easy keyword to rank for. That's not always going to be the case, but if you filter through the keywords, you will get some really easy keywords to go for. All right. And if you don't have access to the custom GPT, if you don't pay for chat GPT, et cetera, what I'm actually going to do is grab the custom instructions like so. You can see the keyword research prompt right here. So you can just plug that straight into chat GPT if you don't have access to chat GPT premium. And so all of these keywords that we mentioned today are completely free. That's how to do keyword research. Again, this was a question from the SEO boardroom community. If you want to check that out, you can see it's got 15 five star reviews right here. Links inside the comments and description. We have two spots remaining at $99 per month, and then it's going to go up to $109 per month. Price increases every 10 members. Uh, if you join today and ask a question in there, I will make a video for you just to help you and get you as much value as possible. Now, if you want to book in a free SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in links inside the comments and description. We can basically personalize everything that we've talked about today to get you better results with SEO, to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO, and start ranking based on what's working for us, right? You get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have, and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Bye-bye.